So we've got this balloon, <coughs> spherical balloon, with a radius of R. And it seems to be shrinking, so I guess it's leaking air, getting smaller and smaller. And find dv dt. So this doesn't have a t in it, but it's implied that it's a function of t, because of course time has to pass in order for the balloon to get smaller. So we use implicit differentiation. So on the left hand side we've got dv dt. Take the derivative over here to get 3 brought down in front, it's going to cancel that 3. We'll just have 4 pi r squared. And now take the derivative of r with respect to t. So the derivative of r with respect to t. And that part right there can be looked at as implicit differentiation or the chain rule. Say so you took the derivative of the outside function, the cube. Now take the derivative of the inside function, the r. And now we need to substitute values in. So we've got that the radius is 8 inches. And this rate right here is telling us how the radius is changing with respect to time. That's why we've got that dt, the time. So we've got dr dt equals 2 inches for every 1 minute. So we'll have the change in the volume with respect to time. Substitute an 8 for the r and a 2 for dr dt. So this is in inches squared and this is in inches per minute. So we've got inches showing up three times and in the denominator minute one time. So that's a volume and that's a time. That's a volume and that's a time. And then finally multiply this out. You could use a calculator or 8 times 64. Okay, I'll make it easy on you. And 8 squared times another 8 is 512 pies cubic inches per minute. So that's how fast the volume is decreased. Or oh, wait a second. Since it's shrinking, I should have said that this is decreasing, so I should have put a negative 2. Or in other words, the volume is getting smaller by 512 pi cubic inches per minute.